Robin Denslow, so what prospect for an end to the fighting in Lebanon and Israel? At the United Nations, the United States and France are apparently getting closer to a deal. And Tony Blair postponed his holidays. He's been talking to Kofi Annan today. Our diplomatic editor, Mark Urban, is here. How close do you think that they really are to a ceasefire resolution, Mark? Well, people working on it in New York are using phrases to us like 97% of the way there. It really is down to an argument about a couple of words now. So the hope is that by the end of the weekend, possibly Monday, some resolution would be ready for voting through in the Security Council. What are the key terms likely to be? Well, we've got a pretty good idea of this from the drafts that have appeared. Firstly, a cessation of hostilities. Now, the word cessation is very important. It's what a lot of the argument is still about. Britain and France agree on that word. America wants the word suspension. Uh, the other key points, uh, respect for territorial integrity of Lebanon and Israel, disarmament of militias, implementation of those previous resolutions on, on that, disarming Hezbollah 1559-1680, extension of Lebanese army control over the south, the buffer zone, and delineation of the border. Now, one of the really striking things about this is that the people who are drafting this resolution are doing belt, braces, cinch back every conceivable form of insurance to try and ensure that Hezbollah do not wriggle out of this, that once the ceasefire comes in, they have no more reason to carry on fighting. So you have implementation of those UN resolutions on disarming them, you have territorial integrity, i.e. you can't go across the Israeli border, you have a border commission to examine the reason Hezbollah says it's still fighting, which is this territorial dispute along the border. You have all of these different ways to try and stop them wriggling out of this once the pressure is off. Because, of course, those previous two resolutions, 1559, 1680, about disarming Hezbollah, have not been implemented, mainly due to the weakness of the Lebanese government. And all of that suggests that uh, there's a great deal of nervousness about how workable the ceasefire is going to be, even if you manage to get it in the first place. Absolutely. Uh, I mean, the reason that the Americans are insisting on this word suspension rather than cessation of hostilities is because they want there to be an or else. Uh, if we consider the situation now in the south of Lebanon, you've got this area south of the Litani River. Now, the Israelis have talked about advancing all the way up there and then waiting till the international force will come in. Well, that's unworkable. Many people in Hezbollah say they would carry on fighting them if they're in the south of Lebanon. The people who would send troops to the international force, many of them wouldn't send that force if the fighting is still going on. So how do you square that circle, that chicken and egg problem? Well, the American view is that if you say suspension rather than cessation, you do keep an or else because they suspect that Hezbollah will try and remain active in that zone, will try and get things the way it wants, may even try and carry out provocations. The European view is you've got to have cessation to have the confidence building and to get the internal Lebanese argument, that thing we heard about from the bishop in Robin Denzelow's report, uh, i.e. the building up of forces to stop Hezbollah within Lebanon, to get that underway, you have to have that ceasefire. This really is the crux of it. If you have a resolution that calls for a ceasefire, will it deliver the long, longer term solution? Well, only in the week or two after the resolution will we find out. Mark Urban, thank you very much indeed. Well, let's hear a little bit more now about the prospects for a UN draft resolution. I'm joined now by Ahmed Fauzi, who's a spokesman for the UN. Now, we heard from a well-placed source at the United Nations, 97% there in terms of the ceasefire resolution. Would you agree with that figure? Well, you know, uh, I'm not privy to the backdoor and backroom talks of uh, Security Council members, but we're hearing, as you're hearing, that there may be, uh, they may be closer to a deal uh, tonight than they were this morning, for example. Uh, I was listening to the analysis of uh, uh, the person you were interviewing earlier, and he seems to be quite on the mark there. Well, that's good to hear that Mark Evans on the mark. And in terms of the timetable on this, we've heard that there could be a deal as early as Sunday, in fact, and the foreign ministers may not even need to fly out to New York to make that resolution happen. Do you know, it's always dangerous to um, higher expectations on these matters. You, you never know when a spanner is going to find its way into the works. Uh, the Secretary General, Kofi Annan, has said time and time again to the Security Council, please set your differences aside 
and work on a cessation of hostilities as quickly as po possible to prevent the killing and to prevent another Kana happening and uh, to get a more comprehensive formal ceasefire down the line. Uh, and that is what we hope they are doing. But that key word that you used, cessation, is the spanner in the works at the moment. And is it right to assume that America is very much in the minority in demanding a suspension of hostilities rather than cessation? Well, I, again, I'm, I'm not going to char characterize the position of members, member, sta member states, if you'll permit me. Uh, I will say that the sec what the Secretary General is calling for is stop the killing. What you, whether you want to call it cessation, uh, full cessation or suspension, um, uh, you know, member states will have to decide what they want to call it. But stop the killing so that the humanitarians can get it to those in need and so that these politicians can continue discussing what they need for a political framework that will put a more long-term long ceasefire in place. Ahmed Fauzi, thank you very much indeed for joining us. Thank you.